Yes. Well, you did this movie in 2020, Pearl. Yes. That looked like it was it was it was a difficult role, was it not? Pearl was my first it's a little independent movie. Yeah, my first lead role so you with were Anthony LaPaglia. Yeah. Yes. And it also had somebody else in there. Ming Na Wen was in it. Ming Na Wen, who was a she friend of mine. A, I She's love, she was on the podcast. She was fantastic. Was I she love, great? Yes. She is incredible. What's so wild is I like Bobby Roth, the director, like told me a little bit about her. And then when she got there, I I I also like to like come into things and not really not know so much about people because it almost like brings like this intimidation on you know, mm-hmm. so I I was happy that I didn't really like I knew she had been in a couple things and she was just so kind and just oh, so humble that I was awesome. like then after I like read and like watched a bunch of her work and I was like, she's good. <gasps> she is incredible. She's been in so many things. Yes. Yeah, she's great. And what, Anthony Lopaglia. Yeah. Was he cool? Amazing. Do you still talk to him? Yeah. But he was the I think I'm like so grateful of that being my. Uh, my first, you know, bigger role in a film, being with him was just what he taught me. And I know there was, a, I remember there was this one day where it was a pretty emotional scene and I was like putting so much pressure on myself of like, it has to be per- here, the whole perfection thing. It has to be perfect. Like I want to do great. I want to give my all. Like this is like the first take and I'm just putting so much added pressure on myself. So we do this, the take, the first take and he comes out and he pulls me aside. He's like, you are putting way too much pressure on yourself. Holy crap. He's like, shake that off. Good for him. And I was like, he's like, Larson, you're like coming into this wanting to start sobbing, crying. That is not what you, like, you wouldn't just come up to me like, you're like at a birthday party around a ton of people. It wouldn't, you as your own person wouldn't just come up like sobbing, crying. Like it would just be, over time, something that develops. And most of the time, you're trying not to cry. That's the key. So why are you trying to come into this ball and crying? He's like, quit it. And that I is go- genius. Yes. Because I this helped me early on. Yeah. Someone said, human beings, we don't want to cry. Yeah. We do everything not to cry. Yes. So as an actor, you have to think, I'm supposed to cry in this scene. And you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Blah blah blah. And it's just, and it's, and it comes out. Yeah. And you're like, fuck, I don't want this. Tech. And and so, that's if you play with that. Totally. That was the answer, wasn't it? Yes. And literally, I remember that the next take, I just came into it being like, don't cry, like, don't like. And you nailed push it. it. And I, it was like. I felt so great about it. I just like came and I like hugged him after. Did, were you yeah. like going La Paglia, La Paglia, <laughs> La 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 Paglia, La. <laughs> no, seriously, but I'm just really, I'm really grateful for him and what he taught me through those three months and just like leading me and knowing it was like my first thing and just like, it was really a really I great love experience. Him. I, I love, love him. him. I have never met him, but I love him yeah. regardless. Gosh, he's an incredible person. So it was, it was a really good ex- first experience because that could have been tough. Yeah. You could have been working. I'm glad you didn't work with an insecure actor yeah whose ego and the people are weird about things oh she's yes. prettier than i am or mm. she's this i have to be i'm gonna be a bitch i'm gonna be really that could really affect you especially yeah. early on totally and the fact that you had two supportive people there have your back a good uh, environment you're lucky yeah you're very lucky yeah. and I'm, I'm happy that it was a good experience yeah because it's not always that i don't know how many actors how many actors i've worked with not not a ton but People who you go, oh man, I, I just thought they were, I was hoping they'd be cool. They're not cool. Mm. Um, it's usually the really big stars who are cool and the people who want to be famous, mm. who are like right there, like think they have something to prove. Yeah. It's usually the, those guys. 